hello friends welcome to the devops interview question we are going to learn here the important devops interview question which is generally asked in the interview so let's start so basically like before starting the devops interview question we will see the like uh, there are some other methodology which is used to uh, work in the organization before the devops comes so let's understand like what is the waterfall first so we have seen about this devops in the briefly so i have created even video over the devops tutorials so if you want to learn the devops in brief and like how it works for the organization you can go through that video i have given the uh, link of that uh, tutorial in the description section you can refer that so let's understand like what is the waterfall model so basically this is the first model which came in the organization to uh, create a software like basically is a methodology and the process to uh, that is useful in the company to create the product so basically as the word says waterfall like it's a linear model it means just like a water has fallen down from a cliff and it doesn't go back so in similar fashion this waterfall model works means once the requirement is clear then only this process works so as in the picture you can see like once we get the requirement then it go to the design then implementation then testing in the deployment and maintenance and in between like uh, we have done the implement a particular product and when it go to the testing phase so basically like requirement designing in the implementation uh, as per the company standard people first implement the product then only it go for the testing so in the testing phase they face any problem then what happen like tester give it back to the implementation or we can say to the developer and for uh, sometime what happen for the developer it is very risky and it's very challenging to change the um, like requirement according to the tester so th that is the uh, biggest drawback uh, using the waterfall model and sometime what happen like in the after if it pass in the testing phase but in the deployment and the maintenance like in the production if it fail then also it give a um, big problem so that is the uh, drawback with the waterfall so if anyone ask like what is the waterfall model so waterfall basically a linear model and as like water fallen down over the cliff and it doesn't go back in similar fashion this waterfall also works like there are some uh, uh, like first we have to get the requirement only then we can design it implement testing deployment and the maintenance so that is the waterfall model now there are some disadvantage of the waterfall model and that is like once an application is in testing stage it is very difficult to go back and change something that i have explained in a bit before like it's very difficult if we face any issue in the testing phase and high amount of risk and uncertainty basically and not a good model for complex and object oriented project because if the project is a complex and the big then like from the testing phase again again go to the development it's a very risky and poor model for long and ongoing project so these are the some disadvantage of the waterfall model so uh, to get rid of these problems basically after this waterfall agile methodology came and what is this says like basically this agile methodology contain two things like sprint and like it contain the scrum so what is the meaning of that so basically like uh, this agile methodology contain the sprint and in one sprint basically they are all the things like review testing build design and planning and then launch it so basically like generally companies had two week of the sprint in every sprint like they are every day around 10 minute of the scrum and as per the uh, company standard it can uh, go long also so every day I means day to day what happened like they can uh, like uh, find the issues and the blockage like where uh, the um, developer is facing the issue or tester facing the issue they can recognize it every day and they can resolve that issue every day so basically uh, all the sprint is contain similar days of the like a uh, time limit of every sprint and every sprint contain the requirement basically review that testing implementation design everything every sprint contains and even like in every sprint 
we can launch or we can deploy our application into the production so that is the biggest advantage over the waterfall model so that is the agile methodology so basically that is the only difference between these two so agile is a continuous process like all these things happen continuously but in the waterfall model like once everything done then only we can deploy into the production so that is the biggest advantage with the agile but there are still some limitations with the agile and what is that so basically like the limitation is between the development team and the operation team and operation team is nothing but deploying the code into the production so that is the operation team so generally what happened like in the agile methodology developer or testers they are looking for the change like whatever the requirement they um, they got they um, their job is to implement that only they doesn't worry about the like environments like it is working in uh, or not working into the um, like testing environment or their job to uh, implement the task but operation team is uh, job like in every environment it should work so basically what happened like suppose in the, in the development environment uh, there is some package the developer is working so but that pa package is not up to date into the uh, other environment called testing and like uh, uh, production environment so they face the issue so that is the problem with the agile and here like uh, these two like development team and the operation team sit just opposite to each other so this is the biggest limitations of the agile so basically like to get rid of this problem like this agile problem this devops came and what is a devops as the name says like devops is basically a combination of the developers like development team and the it operation team what they do they both sit together and work so every solution they fix um, and uh, like all the environment it works uh, like uh, as we want it so basically now the question comes what is the devops so devops is a methodology which reduces the gap between the development and the operation team so that is the biggest advantage of the devops and like so as the name suggests like devops is a combination of the dev and the ops means developer uh, operation team works together like this developer and the operation team they works together and they communicate each other each other time to time to resolve this agile problem so basically devops is known as a dev for development and ops for the operation where a devops engineer fulfill both the developer and the system admin role in order to provide continuous and high software quality and devops automate many process in software development and operation with using tools and techniques so that is the biggest advantage of the devops and that is the definition of the devops so like to uh, like creating a devops there are so many tools available for every step so basically what all are the steps or we can say the planning or process like uh, doing the planning designing that writing the code testing release deployment operation and monitoring so for every steps there are so many tools is available and we have already discussed uh, about the tools in the tutorials where, where we have learned about the devops and briefly we have seen all the process and so basically now next is like what is a devops life cycle so devops life cycle says like first it's the de development then integration the testing then monitoring feedback deployment and operation so this is the life cycle of the devops and in the development phase and the integration and like all these life cycle we have already discussed in the tutorial so i recommend you please watch that tutorial video and you will understand because we have already discussed all these life cycle in briefly there now next question is like what is the versioning control so with the devops this is the biggest thing basically a, and more benefit like the versioning control and like what is the versioning control so basically a versioning control where we keep our uh, uh, like code separate as per the version like suppose i'm first time i'm going to create an application so and i have launched that application into the market but in the next time i'm going to create a, uh, like uh, some extra functionality to the same application so what we can do we have to 
give the version name like this is a version one version two so that uh, devops provide our facility to create that versioning over the application and even with that versioning uh, control uh, what happened like this there are some tools called git tfvc uh, through that we can create a branch and based on that branch instead of directly commit that code into the main branch what we can do we can uh, commit the code into the uh, like respective branch and then at a time all the branch we can commit into the major or master branch so what facility it gives basically like it reduce the problem into the production or like uh, into the main code so that is the good thing with the versioning control now like what is the benefit of the devops so the core benefit of the de uh, devops are like technical benefit first of all so it give continuous software de delivery less complex problem to manage early detection and faster correction of the defect and next is bene uh, business benefit and what it says like faster delivery of the features a stable operating environment improved communication and collaboration between the uh, teams so that is the biggest advantage of the devops now next is like what is the difference between continuous delivery and continuous deployment so continuous delivery says like ensure code can be safely deployed onto the production and like next is ensure business application and service function as expected and delivery like uh, deliver every changes to the production like environment through uh, like uh, automated testing so this is the continuous delivery like once the everything is like tested developed tested then that particular code we can deliver into the production so that is the continuous delivery and continuous deployment says like every change that passes the automated tests is deployed to the uh, production automatically make software development and the release process faster and more robust there is no explicit approval from a developer and require a developed culture of monitoring so that is the difference between these two and the next is like some of the most important devops tools that we have discussed in the tutorial like git maven selenium jenkins docker puppet chef and several and there are so many uh, tools is available in these tools like for um, different stages we use the different uh, tools like git we use for the versioning control puppet we use for monitoring like uh, and like there are different tools we use for the different type of the steps which comes under this devops and the next is like uh, like after this uh, tool uh, we uh, we understand like what is the role of the aws so basically like aws give the um, flexible service uh, means aws provide us the ready to use resource of uh, implementation and scaling purpose we can deploy thousand of the machine on aws depending on the requirement automation aws help us to automate task using the various service and security using um, its security uh, options means iam we can secure our uh, deployment and the builds so these are the some basic interview question of the devops in the coming uh, tutorial we will uh, understand the higher level of the devops and the azure devops interview questions so we have already created a one video over the devops where we have understand uh, in briefly about the devops like how it works and how it is helpful for the organization and even we created a one tutorial series uh, for the azure devops you can refer that like uh, we have covered all the services and uh, like in briefly with the practical like how the azure devops uh, works and in the coming tutorial we will see like uh, the interview question for the azure devops so that's it for this tutorial